I'm Josh with the AgriPro, and today we'll take a look at some natural food choices and the impact it has on trapping season. It's the third week of September at the Flint River Project. Several food plots across the property are planted with sawtooth oaks that are loaded with acorns and beginning to drop. Due to the acorns' higher nutritional quality, the areas baited with corn have been abandoned by the pigs, making any chance of capture impossible. This makes whole sounder success difficult to measure for a couple of reasons. One, gathering intel with cameras becomes difficult due to the pigs spreading out as they feed under the oaks. And two, the best removal method becomes shooting, which works well on singles, but shooting at larger groups will almost certainly leave survivors. They will either be removed in subsequent shooting events or trapping operations closer to January and February, when the temperatures get cold and the acorns become scarcer. The first event takes place near a food plot we call Pig Stand. It's deep in the woods with tons of cover and concealment on all sides. I mean the number of acorns on this food plot is unbelievable. There's no questioning why this spot is so hot with pigs right now. It's just a perfect recipe for pigs to live and thrive this time of year. Here's a quick look at Pig Stand and the physical layout. You can see Chad in the background. He's gathering intel from the ice camera. We'll review the footage on a laptop later so we can get an idea of how many pigs are in the area. After reviewing the footage later that day, there's no surprise that pigs are using this area as their main food source. Now that we've looked at the area, the food source, and the intended targets, let's jump into the shooting event. We arrive at Pig Stand around 10 p.m. and set up with the wind in our advantage. Within 15 minutes, I scan to the left with my rifle thermal and witness an animal cross the path we just walked in on. I adjust my position on the food plot to get a better look. Lo and behold, we have multiple pigs feeding just inside the wood line in a small clearing. With multiple shooters, we use the 3 2 1 shoot method. We each drop our intended target and move on to the movers. I continue scanning for additional movement and catch this pig hooking back towards us. A quick scan again yields just a glimpse of a pig making his way into the wood line. I regain sight picture and send 178 grain ELDX his way. Another pig down. We assess the situation after everything settles and find four pigs total. Not a bad engagement given the circumstances and location of the engagement. The next morning we're up and heading out with the hog hauler to get them loaded and off to the kill pit for proper disposal. This next event takes place approximately three quarters of a mile southwest of pig stand as the crow flies. The owner of the property named this food plot Sawtooth. Let's take a look at some drone footage and see what makes this area so inviting to these invasive species. So here we get an overall view of sawtooth from above. You can count anywhere from 20 to 30 sawtooth oaks. With the sawtooth acorns hitting the ground first, we can count on these areas getting hit hard and that's when we need to capitalize on this opportunity. My plan is simple. Set up at dusk and position myself directly under a sawtooth oak, which gives me the best view of the area for scanning. Again, I want to make sure the wind is in my favor. We get set up just before dark and begin the wait. 45 minutes pass and we catch a heat signature through the pulsar helion. Now you have to remember, pigs aren't the only animals taking advantage of this buffet of acorns. It draws the deer out like crazy. There may be several deer in the food plot at the same time. Positive ID is critical and that's why a quality thermal is a must. With a little jostling for a better look, we now confirm that this is a larger pig. I would lead the stock with Chad directly behind. I'm planning on taking the initial shot while he's ready for any follow-on shots. We close within 50 yards and I set up for the shot. I squeeze the trigger and the sow does a 180. Having experience with these tough critters, myself and Chad are ready and double tap her just as she approaches the edge of the field. I make my way to the edge of the wood line, and to my surprise, she's still alive. I scan to make sure there's no other targets of opportunity before finishing her. The next morning, we return to Sawtooth to get the sow loaded and head off to the kill pit for proper disposal. Late summer and early fall can be a challenging time for whole sounder success, but keep in mind, Shooting operations is a key tool 
and the Feral Swine Best Management Practices Toolbox. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Jaeger Pro, the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Army trained, combat tested, farmer approved. We'll see you next week. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the process and products needed to eliminate feral pig populations on your property. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, Keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to email us at info at